Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson, that's Nathan Fox. We're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We have an email here from Ashwin. Hey Ben and Nathan, I'm a longtime Demon student who just took the June LSAT. Honestly, I have no idea how I did. Part of me feels confident I did well and the other part of me feels nervous I missed something. I'm curious if I should get right back on the horse or if it's acceptable to wait to continue studying until my scores are released. I have a few other areas in my life I need to catch up on, so I'm not planning on doing the four hours a day I used to in this interval, but would like some guidance on whether I should continue to study a little every day. Yes. Yeah, that's, I would say, a pretty easy yes. I mean, you know, do a question, do a logic game, do a reading comprehension passage. Yeah, I think taking care of these other things in your life can reduce stress or just the mental load that they can impose when they are not done or taken care of. So I think it's good to do them for your LSAT prep, but that doesn't mean going to zero hours a day. Even if it's 30 minutes a day, it's gonna be astronomically easier than four hours a day, but it's also gonna keep your head in the game. Yeah, the worst thing is when you do no studying for three weeks, then get a score back that you're unhappy with and realize, oh, I do, after all, have to resume studying and you're kicking off this studying for the new exam. You know, you're kicking that off in a, well, just a a negative way. Yeah. You're just like bummed out, right? You're you're off to a bad start with your studying and you could make sure that if you have to get back on the horse, which it sounds like you probably will. Why, why not just kind of do a little bit? Certainly not for four hours a day. I don't think we never would have recommended you spend four hours a day to begin with. And that might be if you if it turns out that you have a problem, Ashwin, you know, if this test didn't go the way you hoped, it might turn out that your whole plan was kind of backward. You were doing four hours a day and ignoring other areas of your life with the hopes that you were going to get it done on this next attempt. And instead, you should have been thinking, "Okay, look, I've got two or three or however many remaining chances at this exam. I'm happy with my practice test scores. I'm going to be studying an hour or two a day until I get that official score back that I'm happy with. This idea that you're going to like ramp up and then take time off. I just don't think that's the most efficient way to prep. Agreed. Yeah, good luck. Uh, Hope you do well. Thanks, Ashman. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.